Probably all sitting right here, and there's the cook shack is just like right here. Must have been. That's not too far. And then we had all our our piled wood right here, so if they start shooting us this way, <clears throat> so we weren't allowed to walk anywhere out there. Otherwise, we'd step on a what you call them things. That landmine? Landmines, yeah. Every day we used to hear them landmines going off either around here or, or over there or over there. Them cows were stepping on it. <laughs> there must have been a lot of dead cows out there. 77,000 rounds came towards us. You could see it on the trees yet, all the bullet holes. But only one got wounded and the dog got killed by that landmine. I think that all our ceremonies we did in the mornings, early in the mornings, and in the evenings we did our ceremonies. I think that's what really saved us. It was so nice and peaceful up here. We didn't even want to leave, but we were forced to leave. Oh, they brought 18 body bags up here. Because there's 18 of us up here. But none of us got killed. Shots couldn't touch us because of our ceremonies. They fenced this place, and then that's when that rancher started getting mad. Oh. Right? Because there's some graves up here somewhere. We had the sun dances back here. I don't know if you people went to the Sundance ground. Two and a half hour period. I believe it was uh, 77,000 rounds fired. Also, they had landmines, concussion grenades. We had Iron Sky, the satellite, 24 hours a day. Two helicopters and an airplane flying over every day. We've gone to The Hague twice, the Queen twice. Testified to the end three times, which led up to this standoff. Because we see there was no justice here for our people. The only thing we had left was to hold our ground at the sacred Sundance. Anyway, for a small group of people, we shook this country up right to the Prime Minister himself. You know, the land question here has always been the same. The legitimacy of this country is something that still to be reckoned with, still to be tested. There are Supreme Court decisions in this country that support the inherent title to the land of the First Peoples. There's Supreme Court decisions, there's Chilcotin decision, you know, and the Delgamook decision, there's, you know, there's been precedent set, even their own courts agree with it, and yet they criminalize us, and they marginalize us, and they make us look like thugs in our own communities to get away with the lies. They're still doing it today. Uh, I just got back from another front line up in the Unistoten where the argument is the same. We could use each other's paperwork. We, we haven't uh, 
finished yet. All we're trying to do is secure a future that our kids could and our grandkids might be able to taste and breathe freedom like our ancestors did. We're not asking for money. We're not asking for something that's impossible. And we're doing it from a defensive posture, in a peaceful posture. This is 20 years ago that right here where we're sitting, armored personnel carriers and people were out hired to kill our people. The mines are still opening, the pipelines are still going through. The murdered and missing women, you know, the list goes on and on and on. History is repeating itself on a daily basis. The longer they wait, the harder it's going to be to solve, and we know that. I'm very proud of you, Robomain. Very proud of you, what you did for us. Mm. And uh, the young lady back there that was here, I'm very proud that you were here. Mm. I'm very proud of all my people that are standing and all the things we're doing. It makes my heart feel really good. <laughs> okay, center. Meaning me. Okay, I'm gonna take you this one. Grab that. Why? <laughs> 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 we're taking pictures, but you might.